Keep your wine bottles. This one's fun. I did this last year, but I thought it was worthy of coming back this year. So I painted the top of the bottle with red acrylic paint. It took two coats. And then I painted a flat bottom, a wooden bead ball with just pink. I Mod Podged the red part of the bottle. And the reason is because I wanted to seal it. I'm going to paint on it again. And then I took a flannel shirt that I used to have that had a big hole in it. And I just wrapped it around the bottom part of the bottle. I glued it down. And the very bottom of it was actually very easy to tuck in because the bottom of the bottle was indented. So it just went right up inside. I had an old Sherpa jacket. So I'm laying the Sherpa on backwards. So that way when I flip it up, I have a clean edge. So I just glued it down right where the red met the fabric, the flannel. And see how it gives it a clean edge? And then I, t I fold the top down to get a clean edge on the top too and just glue it to the bottle. So I go all the way around. And then for the seam, I just cut the extra fabric and then just kind of tucked and glued, tucked and glued, and it really worked out pretty good. Next, we're gonna use a mop. I used a mop like this to make my other Santa. The first row I always do upside down and the reason is because it gives you a cleaner a cleaner beard. Um, the top row flips down and then it just is, a, it's a better edge. I think it's just a better edge. I cut that and used the rest of that to do the next row. So I did one row up and then I do two rows down. So here's the second row that's going down and then I'm gonna do one more down. Once I got those on, I separate them. You wouldn't have to separate them. It looks cute, not separated, but I like to separate them. So I separated all of them. And then when I glued his little nose down, it left uh, an open spot right underneath his nose where you could see the flannel. So I added four more pieces right there underneath his nose. And just unraveled those. And voila, it's perfect now. I wrapped twine around the top of the hat. By the way, I took a screenshot of a picture on Pinterest a couple years ago. And so I can't even give, because I can't find it again. I can't give credit to whoever put, posted this. But someone had posted a picture. So I'm going off a picture I had seen. I put snowflakes on the hat. To do a snowflake, you just do an X with dots. And then in between the X's, the X marks, the X lines, you just do smaller um, dot or shorter dots. So I put three snowflakes on his hat. I put a little blush on his nose and three dots. I cut his beard. I did tie a rag bow to the top of the hat and put a little greenery on there. I made a raffia bow, put that on, and a rusty bell. And I think he came out really cute. Let me know what you think. If you like this, please hit the like button. Please hit that share button. Make sure you're following me if you're not. And make sure if you're following me, you make me a favorite. Thank you.